well, it is going to be a good day today. I'm saying that because I've been saying that the last few days, the last few mornings, just to set my intention for the day in the right way because uh, the other day I did not have a very good day and made me a little bit worried because it was right before I took off to uh, LA for the day. I went to LA to pick up a new battery for my solar and the battery's working good. The trip in and out of LA was one of the best I've ever had um, of, of all time. It was just a really easy trip. Uh, so that all went good, but because of the previous day, I was a little bit worried. So I've already got my coffee made this morning and I'm drinking some of my favorite coffee. This is uh, Groundwork and their Ethiopian blend. This is my absolute favorite coffee and I only buy it when it's on sale because it is rather expensive and I managed to find it on sale, really good sale, so I picked up a couple of bags. So I'm really enjoying this this morning. It certainly helps set my mood in the morning to uh, be a good one for the day when I'm drinking my favorite coffee. And then I thought I'd change up my oatmeal a little bit. I've added some almonds, sliced almonds into my oatmeal. Cherry almond oatmeal this morning. Kind of tasty, I guess. So I had a bit of a bad day the other day because I was really struggling for power. This was before I bought my new battery and so I was really kind of struggling for power and that was kind of stressing me out a little bit. And then also I've been a little bit stressed out about finances. Uh, I have been looking for a job and yeah, not a traditional nine to five job. I've been looking for gig work mostly. Um, I don't know if that's really the correct term. Uh, that's what I call it. But uh, just picking up little odd jobs here and there. And I've had dozens and dozens of suggestions for jobs from different people and none of them have panned out which is kind of crazy. Um, but I found one that I thought was going to work out pretty well. And it was about a 30 mile drive to get to where the job was going to be. And I have not been driving that much. I've been doing maybe 10 or 15 miles at the most uh, in a day. And then to drive 30 miles to go do a job seemed a little excessive, but I figured it would be a good foot in the door with this company and give them a try. This would be good, right? I can get a little charge on the batteries. So being that it was 30 miles away isn't not a big deal. It kind of seemed like it would all work out. Uh, unfortunately, drove up to the job. I had a little wait because I got there early. So I actually waited a couple of hours before the job was going to start. And right when the job was supposed to start, it got canceled. Then I got a crack in my windshield. So just added to my level of discouragement. Just a really discouraging day. So now every morning I've been saying to myself, this is gonna be a good day. This is gonna be a good day. Just set the intention from the start. And they've, they've been fairly decent from then on out. Maybe that's what I need to do every morning. This is gonna be a good day. So at least I don't have to worry about power anymore. I'm all set with that. Uh, and I'm not going to worry about the job situation. I will find something. I'll, I'll keep looking. I'll find something eventually. But, you know, it's just I'm not going to worry about it. It's, it's, uh, it's senseless to worry about something that you can't really control. Just keep moving forward and something will uh, happen eventually. But anyway... Um, Got a couple of things I want to get done today. Uh, I want to try to address the rock chip in the windshield. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and the other thing, I think the first thing on the agenda this morning is to get rid of this thing. You can see that. That is my enormous battery, old battery, that used to supply power to the van and uh, it's just taken up all this space here. It's also 138 pounds, and it's just costing me gas money, so it needs to go. So right after I finish my breakfast here, I think I will head over and find a battery recycler and get rid of this huge thing. I don't have a lot of space here, 
This is the biggest kind of space I have in the van. I, I sit here normally because I can stretch my legs and then I have the most amount of headroom on this little spot. But with that battery sitting there, I, I lose most of my leg room. So uh, not only is this thing costing me gas, but it's costing me leg room and comfort. So I really want to get rid of it. So when I left LA the other day, I knew I didn't want to be anywhere around LA but I didn't necessarily want to go back to San Diego either, but I am kind of back in the area of San Diego. I'm not in San Diego, but I'm kind of back toward San Diego. And this is an area I don't know real well, uh, but I did check Google Maps and found that there's a battery store about two miles away from me uh, where I parked here last night. And I parked in just a little residential neighborhood and it's pretty nice here. Um, there's actually an Aldi grocery store about half a block away although I didn't uh, go in Aldi it's not really my favorite store uh, plus I don't really need anything uh, but anyway it was a nice place to be and like I said I not really sure I want to head back to San Diego but I do need to think about getting some work and so since I know San Diego a little bit better I probably would be in better shape going back to San Diego to find some work and then that's enough of that I don't want to talk about work anymore uh, <laughs> the whole thing is just discouraging so uh, that'll be the last I talk about that well it's supposed to be a nice day today uh, it was a little bit chillier than I had anticipated last night it was 37 degrees I woke up a little chilly for a minute had to pull my down duvet over uh, I was thinking it was going to be a lot warmer than that but Anyway, uh, today's supposed to be a high of 71, and beautiful blue skies out. It's just absolutely beautiful already this morning. Okay, first job is done. Got rid of the battery. Uh, good place here, American Battery in Temecula. If you are looking to get rid of your battery or buy a more traditional AGM-style battery or golf cart battery, uh, they sell them here. They gave me 15 bucks for my old battery, which is good, better than I expected. So, uh, yeah, first job's done. Now, on to the windshield. Okay, so I've pulled over to the mall parking lot just to have a little place to sit and work on the windshield. And I bought a windshield repair kit yesterday and from what I know about these things, which is not much, um, I th I'm not sure this is going to work for the damage that I have on my windshield. We'll have to see. I, I don't know. Here, let me show you the brake. So it's a little bit hard to see here, but there's a, there's a little chip right here at the end, and then it did splinter out out to here, which is why I think it may not work repairing it. But, like I said, it's worth a try. Alright, so the windshield project is done, and who knows if it's actually going to work, uh, but I figured for 15 bucks for the repair kit it was probably worth a try so uh, since I did that and I got rid of my battery that means I need to treat myself to a little extravagant lunch not really extravagant I'm just gonna have tacos because that's you know the best thing you can give yourself is tacos right nothing better than that happen to know that there's an Apple store in this mall and because I have not updated my phone in quite some time 
I think I'm going to head over there and see if I can just sponge off a little Wi-Fi and get that done. Uh, I'm not going to go in the Apple Store. I'll just stand out in front and see if there's enough Wi-Fi to get my phone updated. Okay, that worked. Got the phone updated using the Apple Store Wi-Fi. There was a bench out front, so I was just able to sit and wait for it to happen. Their uh, Wi-Fi just doesn't seem to be as fast as it used to be. Maybe that's accurate, maybe that's not, I don't know. But um, I, uh, I just find it really annoying to have to go find Wi-Fi because I'm just really never around Wi-Fi, at least free Wi-Fi, that I can actually access. And when you have a smartphone, you always have to update. It's just a constant thing. So it's just one of those little things about being out on the road and being away from a Wi-Fi signal. It just makes things a little bit harder. But having, you know, finding an Apple store once in a while and being able to just update uh, is has been working for me. It's just it takes time, more time than I would hope for. Well, I think it's about time for me to head back to San Diego. I would really like to uh, just keep on traveling, but I think I really need to get back to San Diego so I can focus on getting a few things done. Uh, and hopefully I can get out of San Diego soon, but just depends on how uh, efficient things go in the next few days. Anyway, I'm um, going to call it quits here and just want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'd like to give a special thank you to everybody who's been extra supportive lately, uh, especially those of you who are channel members and Patreon supporters. I really do appreciate all the extra that you do for me. So thank you very much. And I will see you all soon.